the population of a town in 2020 was 100,000. The population decreased by y percent from the year 2020 to 2021 and increased by x percent from 21 to 22. So, 2020 was 1 lakh. Down by y percent to 2021, up by x percent in 2022. Where x and y are two natural numbers, the population in 2022 was greater than the population in 2020 and the difference between x and y is 10. Then what is the lowest possible population of the town in 2021? This is greater than this. And so, so we take 2020, decrease it by some percentage, increase it by a higher percentage because the base is lower. So the total goes higher. So I'm, I'm, if, I'm, if y were say 15, x will have to be 25. 100,000 into 85 or 0.85 into 1.25 should be more than 100,000. That's what we're looking at. And so it's, we're solving for 100,000 into 1 minus y by 100 into 1 plus x by 100 to be greater than 100,000. And so 1 minus y by 100 into 1 plus x by 100 should be greater than 1. We know additionally the difference between x and y is 10. Beautiful question. But you shouldn't do all that. You should look at these numbers. So the population in 2021 is 74,000. Then it is down 26%. So we do 74,000 into 1.36. And see that's greater than 100,000. Up or we take 75,000 into 1.35, 73,000 into 1.37, down 25, down 27 or 72,000 into 1.38. The number should be more than 1 lakh and it should be as close to 1 lakh as possible. I know this beautiful fact, which is a wonderful fact, that is 137 into 73 is 10,001. So I can look at this question and go, hey, this is very nice. Otherwise, we just substitute this, punch it to the calculator. It is the answer, this is the number. Kind of question where we don't do algebraically, where we shouldn't be saying 1 minus y by 100 into 1 plus x by 100 is greater than 1. And we know x is y plus 10, find the least possible value. We're not doing that.